Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider a numerical on one of the properties of DFT, which is symmetry, symmetry of real valued uh, sequences. The numerical says that the first five points uh, of the eight point DFT are being given. This is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, and x of 4. The first five points are given. The task is to find the remaining three points. How do I find that? x of n itself is not given. Whatever it's been given, it's only x of k. That too, only five points. And the remaining three points are being asked. So, to solve this, symmetry property comes into picture. What that property says? It says x star of k is nothing but x of n minus k. In this numerical, it is 8 point DFT. As it is clearly said, uh, it is 8 point DFT. I would write x of uh, 8 minus k. To understand this, what I do is I'll just draw a straight line and uh, with that n is equal to 8 because I'm finding n point uh, DFT, 8 point DFT. So what is the folding index? It is uh, 8 divided by 2 uh, which is nothing but 4. So 4 is the midpoint. Let me indicate the same thing. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll draw 8 points, 0 to 7, which makes 8 points. The folding index says it is uh, symmetric about the midpoint. Midpoint being it is 4. It means if I want to find x of 3, x of 3 is given, I want to find x of 5. x, x of 5 is nothing but x star of 3. That's what it says. These two are conjugate uh, symmetric. They are symmetric. Similarly, x of 2 is symmetric with, conjugate symmetric with x of 6 and x of 1 and x of 7. They are conjugate symmetric. Getting it? So if I want to proceed further and uh, let me check how do I uh, find this. I want to find, uh, I'll just write the formula again. x of k is equal to x star of 8 minus k. So I could write it both the way x star of k is equal to x of n minus k. Also, x of k is equal to x star of n minus k. It is possible. So, knowing this, uh, what, I f what I need is uh, now uh, x of uh, 5. I want it. What is x of 5? This will be x star of 8 minus 5. I'll write it uh, 8 minus 5. What is that? x star of 3. So, if I want to find x of 5, which is nothing but x star of 3. What is x of 3? It has been given. x of 3 is nothing but, here it is, 0 0.5 minus j, 0 0.86. So, now it becomes, the sign changes, the real part remains as it is. Here, it was minus j, 0 0.86. Now, it becomes plus j, 0 0.86. Is it fine? This is how I find the DFT of uh, the fifth point, uh, the uh, x of 5. Similarly, the next point, x of 6. What is x of 6? x of 6 is nothing but x star of 8 minus 6, which is x star of 2. So I just have to go and check what is my x of 2. x of 2 it is being given as uh, 0. Hence, x of 6 will also be 0. Getting it? Similarly, I'll go on and find the last point uh, which is uh, x of 7. What is x of 7? It will be x star of n minus uh, k. n is uh, 8, 8 minus 7 which is nothing but 1. So I just have to go and check what, what would be my x of uh, 1. x of 1 is something like this 0 0.5 minus j 0 0.5. So it's conjugate becomes 0.5 plus j 0.5. So this is how I find the DFT of remaining points without actually finding uh, the DFT in, in a mathematical process or using the matrix relation. So this is where the property of symmetry is very useful in finding the DFT. I hope you have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to our channel NG Classes and uh, keep watching for uh, more videos on uh, digital signal processing. Thanks for watching.